Hi, this is Martin from Talky Toaster again, another video for you. This one is uh, basically because I've been asked by a number of customers to actually create one for how to install my maps to a Phoenix 5X or indeed uh, either um, uh, a Descent Mark 1 or a D2 Charlie or the very latest Garmin watch which supports mapping is the Tactics Charlie. The installation is exactly the same irrespective, uh, very similar in fact to the way you install my maps to a, any other GPS, including a micro SD card. So just quickly going through that, uh, there is actually a review of the Fenix 5X on my site, as you can see here, and that includes a video of how to do the installation uh, via a Mac. Um, however, there isn't, a, isn't a, an installation video that anybody appears to have created for how to install via Windows. So this is the purpose of this. So you can see all the information there. There's some very nice other videos there showing how the maps appear on the Fenix 5X uh, and the related uh, models. So you can uh, have a play around with that. So let me just switch over to the other window. Right, as you can see, I've actually downloaded the map. So this is my latest British Isles map at the time i have recording this particular video. If I double click it, it's a zip file, so this is Windows 10. Okay, if I double click on it, it will actually open the, the zip file and show me the files inside. And inside there, there are a number of files. The one I'm interested in and I want to connect to my, or move to my Fenix 5X, which is attached. Um, as you can see, this is actually attached as drive F. That's my Fenix 5 there, okay. So I'm going to select this map, which is the map file. All I'm going to do is right click and do copy. Okay, Ooh, there we go, copy. That is now ready for me to move to my Fenix 5X, which is here. So that's the Garmin, that is my Fenix. So in there, there's a folder called Garmin. All I'm going to do is double click on that folder. And inside you'll actually see all the other files that are actually on the Fenix 5X by default. So that's a whole load of uh, folders as well they you don't need to worry about the folders but you will notice um, if you've got your your windows system set up correctly you'll see a whole load of files called gmaps up one two three etc these are actually map files so these are the other map files that are already on the garmin and have come as supplied from 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 the uh, from garmin themselves so all i need to do to actually copy the file that i've just i've already selected from the zip is to right click anywhere in here and do paste and it really is as simple as that and as you see it will start to copy this will take about 10 minutes or in this case it says about eight minutes um, gives you an idea of just roughly how long it'll take once it's completed all you need to do is eject the device in the normal safe way through you know as you would normally do so normally right click on the the actual device itself and select eject from the the menu i'll show you that i'm going to pause this temporarily so let this move forward Okay, I've just stepped out my time machine. As you can see, we're almost done. Uh, one of the things I will actually make clear here is that this is the same irrespective of any map that you get from me, my free ones or my paid ones, my British Isles map, my map of India, my map of China, uh, the, the Philippines, uh, US states, Canadian provinces, anywhere. They all install the same, so they're very, very straightforward to install. So it's literally a matter of just copying the file from the zip and pasting it into the Garmin folder on your Garmin device, uh, your Fenix 5X, your Descent Mark 1, your D2 Charlie, or your Tactics Charlie, if you have the very, very latest version. All right, that's done. So let's just show you that that's actually there. So let me just scroll through. Oh, where are we? Let's find it. It's going to have to refresh this screen because it's going it's showing it at the bottom. As you can see, it's there. I don't need to rename the file at all. It is actually correctly named. Um, it doesn't care what the file name is as long as it ends in this uh, file format, which is a .img, which is an image format. So this is actually a Garmin map image format. No matter what Windows tells you, it is not a disk image. Um, you can't open it directly on Windows. It is actually designed directly to be used on the Garmin device. And that's it, really. It's as simple as that. So to eject, all you need to do now is select the, your Garmin device once it's installed correctly and just click eject. Your device now is uh, ejecting and you can and the map will be automatically recognized. You can check on the device. Just go through the, the relevant map settings and you can see the actual map listed on the devices. So it really is quite straightforward. Um, 
if you found this video useful, please feel free to subscribe. Um, also, just to let you know that if you've got suggestions for other video tutorials that you'd like me to do, let me know. And one other thing I would like to make clear is that if you have other maps installed on the device, then it's a good idea to turn them off. Otherwise, they may actually all try to overlay each other, um, which could cause some rather funky effects at times, if nothing else. Um, looking at the statistics I've actually had for the first five months of, uh, of 2018, um, at the beginning of, or the end of last year, 2017, about 22% of my customers were using Phoenix 5 or equivalent devices. Uh, as of the beginning of May this year, 2018, over 44% of my customers are now using these devices. Um, even though the maps that come on them are not bad, it just shows you just how many people are actually using my maps because they are significantly better. Hopefully you found that useful. Please get in touch if you want anything else from me. Thanks so much, bye.